You know, there's a lot of stuff you're supposed to take into account when you review a video game. It's like this rubric everyone has. And you're expected to follow it, too. How are the graphics? How's the online multiplayer? Boy, that's a big one. And now I see people are like, they're doing this, they're doing something called a review in progress. Like, like a review that evolves. Like a frog? Whatever the f*** that means. Look, point is, I think sometimes we make this stuff too complicated. You know, we, we put all this thought into something that's actually very simple. Screw the rubric. There's one question that matters. Is this game fun? Two decades later, this game is still fun. Speaking of complicating things, hey, sports games! Stop complicating things, your, your sports games. I don't know who decided it'd be real cool if you were real boring, but come on! You guys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. I mean, I play Madden, I want to take a nap after a couple quarters. I play this for a couple hours, and I want to take a pee break. So I can play for a few more. See, I can hold it like a camel. That's from growing up with Tecmo Super Bowl! And I mean, I don't know if there's anything else I need to say about Tecmo Super Bowl beyond that. I mean, it's Tecmo Super Bowl. It's a legendary game from a time when sports games were so much fun. You didn't even need to like the sport to like the game, which is like the exact opposite of today's sports games. I mean, it's like Madden's designed for the reincarnated soul of Vince Lombardi. Not the case back then. I mean, I was never a big football fan, but I was a huge Tecmo fan. In fact, that's what we called it, my friends and I. Like if someone said, hey, you want to play Tecmo? you knew exactly what they were talking about. There was no reason to specify. Actually, there was no reason to ask either. Because you always wanted to play Tecmo! Now this game was originally released on the NES back in 1991, but then two years later, it was re-released on the 16-bit systems, both the Super NES and the Sega Genesis, which is the version we're playing here. And you know, you'd think those two versions would basically be the same, right? The Super Nintendo and the Genesis? And I guess they kind of are, but there's, there's some subtle differences too. I mean, look, I played the crap out of the Super Nintendo version, so I expected to jump into this one without missing a beat. Instead, I missed my goddamn receivers. See, here's the problem. The, the button you push to switch players on defense is the same button you use to pass on offense. So when you're on offense, you, know, you instinctively push that same button to switch receivers, and then boom, you throw the ball. You have to push a different button to switch players on offense. And, you know, looking back on it, that that makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, I mean, there were several times I threw the ball when I meant to switch receivers, because seriously, who thought switching buttons for switching players was a good idea? That is literally one of the worst ideas ever. It's like, it's like New Coke, Madden in general, and that, that idea. And you know, I, I don't remember how the Super NES version controls exactly, but I actually think that one does the same thing. So I think for me, the issue here was, it was more about muscle memory, you know? Like I'm so used to playing this with that controller that the whole switch to switch thing, it seemed like a huge problem, even though it wouldn't be on the other version, you know? L like if you grew up with this version, you might have the same problem switching over to the Super Nintendo version. And I did get used to it after a few games, but I mean, it never felt completely natural. I always had to like think about it for a second. So if I have one criticism about Tecmo Super Bowl in retrospect, it's definitely that. You know, newcomers, they might have a hard time switching players as people who grew up with the game. You know, that, that's something that we wouldn't necessarily see. But you know, otherwise, seriously, this is, this is probably the most fun I've ever had with a sports game ever. I mean, RBI Baseball's up there, probably NBA Jam, a couple of the Mario sports games too, but even those probably don't add up in terms of like total hours to the fun I've had with Tecmo Super Bowl over the course of my life. It really is the perfect example of arcade sports games. You know, it's simple and accessible, and it's insanely addictive. I mean, it's a game that, like, when you're on a roll with this thing, it's almost impossible to put down. And to be perfectly honest, like, I can't even explain why. I mean, it's just a simple design that plays great. Like, even by today's standards, it just plays so well. Of course, part of the charm has always been the presentation. I mean, specifically, the, those classic animations between plays. You know, the players are celebrating, and then they're flexing. Not to mention those halftime shows, which had plenty of hot chicks. 
Actually, that's that's one of those subtle differences, because they're these aren't the same cutscenes from the Super Nintendo. At least not that I remember. I remember a lot more hot chicks. Actually, it's more than that too. It, it's the animations, the music, the sprites. Just just a bit different between the two versions. And not that one's better or worse. I mean, that's probably subjective. But the Genesis version actually does seem to run a bit better. Like Thurman Thomas. Touchdown! Look, here's the deal. I could sit here and talk about Tecmo Super Bowl all f***ing day. Neither of us has the time for that. So let's cut to the chase. There are, like, two kinds of people on this planet as it pertains to this game. There are those who worship the ground it zigzags on, and those who are maybe younger, who are like, Man, I'd like to play that old game. I've heard good things. I probably shouldn't make fun of you guys' voice, because I kind of sound the same. I kind of sound the same. And you're goddamn right you've heard good things. You should drop whatever you're doing right now and play it. Right now. I don't care. Wh whatever lousy modern game you're playing right now, forget it. Go with this one instead. Believe me, once you finish a season at the top of the QB rankings, you're all pumped up about your upcoming playoff run. Trust me, you'll thank me. But don't thank me. Thank Tecmo Super Bowl. Actually, I have to thank Daniel, too. From Palm Coast, Florida! For sending a game that's... Not only probably the best football game ever, but that's also the actual, real-life, scientifically proven origin of the fist pump.